Here I'm using Arduino as a cheap little PLC and using an LED and photoresistor as a photo eye. Um, this is a work project. At work we test large holding tanks, uh, leak test them. They go through a three minute test underwater and um, once the three minutes is up, if nothing's seen visually, it gives the green light saying everything's okay. Well, we want to make sure that every tank gets tested, so we'll apply a label after the tank has passed test, and we'll have control over these. Um, setup here is just a gear motor with a wheel. Um, this is just a wheel that holds the three inch roll of three quarter inch labels. There's a thousand on a roll, just an idler pulley, and like I said, there's the LED and the photoresistors underneath. This is just a prototype. Uh, when this is complete, this will all be enclosed um, so operators who are testing the tanks can't just reach in there and grab a label. It'll only spit one out at a time, which will come out on this end. On the back side, there's Arduino, a breadboard for now, and the gear motor. Um, the trim pot is used to adjust the set point um, of what the, of what the uh, photoresistor can see as far as the edge goes. It, it, it shoots the light through the stickers and the sheet and it can detect the edge. Once it finds an edge, it's allowed to travel. The motor runs for another 200 milliseconds. Um, just a kind of an adjustment to make sure there's enough to pick out and grab the label apply to a tank. Uh, the motor is driven. I'm using pulse width, mo pulse width modulation. Um, when I ran it full speed, one in ten cycles, it'll miss an edge and it'll try to give out two stickers so I slowed it down. I'm not really sure why that is. I don't know if it's the photoresistor. I would think Arduino is fast enough to pick up on it so whatever whatever the reason there's no sense for it to go fast so slowing it down seemed to work and I'm using a switching transistor to drive the motor. Uh, not sure how long that'll last. It's down here. I burn these up quite often. I don't know if I'm using them properly but if it does I have a MOSFET I can put in. So on the test unit, there will be a dry contact that will just close. Right now I'm just going to use a switch. Here we go. Since there are a thousand stickers on the roll, I, I couldn't just tell it to go a certain distance. Um, two reasons. One, any error is going to be amplified by the time you get to the end of the roll. Second thing, since I'm dri driving off this uh, this wheel, the diameter is going to change as it picks up more, um, more of the backing. So again, that would change how much it travels. So this seems to work. Um, make this a little bit more robust. Put it in, uh, put it in one of the test tanks at work and see what happens.